All right, this video will address the topic of pure substances. So what are pure, pure substances? By Mr. Thiel. So first we'll look at a definition of pure substances. So we say a pure substance is a substance which is, con which is composed of only one type of atom or particle and that has chemical and physical properties that do not change. So when we look at this definition of a pure substance, there are two parts to this definition that we'll take a look at. So the first part says one type of atom or particle. So pure substances are substances that are made up of just one type of atom or particle. And the second part of the definition is that pure substances have chemical and physical properties that do not change. Their chemical and physical properties do not change. Now to understand pure substances, I think that the easiest thing to focus on is the first item here, that pure substances are made of just one type of atom or particle. So that's what we'll focus on in this, uh, in this video. One type of part, atom or particle. So what we'll look at to do this is we'll look at the different types of pure substances. There's really just two types of pure substance. The first is the elements. All elements are pure substances. And the second type uh, is made up of chemical compounds. So we have elements and compounds. The elements are those pure substances that are made up of just one type of atom. And the compounds are those other types of pure substances that are made up of just one type of particle. Not one type of atom, but one type of particle. So we have these two different types of pure substance, elements and compounds. So first we'll look at elements. And here I'll draw a familiar element. Hopefully it will be familiar by the time I'm done with the drawing. You maybe can figure it out right now. But I'm drawing these bricks right here, these yellow bricks. And when I'm all finished, I think you'll be able to guess that what I've got here is the element gold. So gold is uh, the element that we're drawing here, that I've drawn here, and the chemical symbol for gold is Au. Now, if you were able to see the particles that make up gold, the element gold, if we have pure gold, what you would see is you would see all the same type of particle. In fact, you'd only see one type of atom, and that would be the gold atom. So what we see here is we see these little yellow spheres here that represent a gold atom. So gold is a pure substance. It's made up of just one type of particle in this case, or one type of atom in this case. So we'll look at another element. Another element here that's more common. Uh, maybe you have one right now. And that we can find on the end of our pencil. And this is the element carbon. Uh, which makes up our pencil lead. So again, like gold, carbon is an element, and carbon, if we were to zoom in and look at our pencil lead, and we're able to see the particles that make up the pencil lead, what we would see is all the same particle, in fact, all the same atom, and they would be carbon atoms in this case, uh, like when we looked at gold, we saw gold atoms. So we see these uh, gray spheres, in this case, that represent individual carbon atoms. So carbon is a pure substance as well. It's an element. It's made up of just one type of atom. And you can see from the drawing that when we zoom in, all you see are carbon atoms and nothing else. Okay, next we will look at the other type of pure substance, which are compounds. And we'll look at a couple of common compounds that you uh, encounter daily. So first we have a container here. And we'll fill up this container with a common, extremely common compound that uh, is very familiar to all of us. You can probably guess what it is by the color here as well. This compound, of course, is water. So we filled up this container with water, which has the chemical symbol, well-known chemical symbol of uh, chemical formula H2O. So again, we'll zoom in and look at the particles that make up this compound, the compound water, just like we did for carbon and gold. But this will be a little bit different. When we look at the particles that make up a compound, in this case water, 
what we see is a little bit more complex, but we, really what you're seeing is the same basic setup here. Uh, you, what you see are uh, water molecules. So the water molecule is made up of, and this is where the chemical formula comes from for water, uh, H2O. And so what we've got here is we've got one oxygen atom with two hydrogen atoms attached to it, and that is a water molecule. And when you look at water, uh, the particles that make up the substance water, the compound water, if you have pure water, that's all you see, is you see a whole bunch of water molecules floating around. And that's it. So, because you only see one type of particle that makes up water, the water molecule, water also uh, qualifies as a pure substance. The next pure substance we'll look at that is a, a compound is also pretty common here. Uh, so I'm drawing a little shaker here and filling it up with the, our next chemical compound, which uh, is sodium chloride and better known to us as table salt. So again, like water and carbon and gold, we'll, we're going to zoom in and look at what we might see if we were able to see the little particles that make up sodium chloride or table salt. And when we do so, we see uh, the gray here represents a sodium atom and the green represents a chlorine atom and these are bound together in one unit. So we have sodium chloride in one unit, and we just see these repeating units. Now I've drawn these in a way that also sort of represents their, their structure as well. Uh, they form these little crystals that we can see. So anyway, that uh, sodium chloride uh, represents a little salt particle, but that's all that's there. You see these repeating sodium chloride patterns and nothing else. So sodium chloride, made up of just one type of particle, the salt particle, is also a pure substance. Now the last thing that we'll look at is sort of a, a bridge to the next topic that we'll cover and that is uh, something that's not a pure substance. So we've got a container here and we'll fill up this container like we did with the water. We'll fill up this container but this one is being filled up with a brown fluid and this brown fluid is uh, muddy water. So, you can see this is muddy water. And we'll zoom in and look at the particles that we see in muddy water. And basically what we see are these water molecules that are floating around, as you would see in pure water. But also you've got these little mud particles floating around as well. So we've got the water molecule. And we've also got our mud particle. Now because, of, because muddy water is made up of two different types of particles, the water molecule and whatever the mud particle is. Uh, muddy water is not a pure substance because by definition a pure substance is a substance that is made up of just one type of atom or particle and here we've got more than one type of particle. So uh, what muddy water actually is is a type of mixture. So it is a mixture and that will be our next topic.